Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is the demo for Into the Dead, Our Darkest Days, which will immerse us in the world of Walton City, Texas in 1980, tasking us with managing a group of desperate zombie apocalypse survivors as they try to find their way out of an overrun city. We will be crafting weapons, scavenging resources and balancing our group's needs as we try to get everyone out of the danger zone. So let's begin. People of Walton, this is your mayor, John Ward. Now, I want to take a moment to thank y'all for your patience and resolve in these most challenging times. It's that southern spirit, it's that Texas grit that gives me full confidence that we'll not only get through this crisis, but come out stronger on the other side. And I only wish I could be here to see it now. However, folks, I regret to announce that today I'll be moving my office to a secure spot outside the, uh, the city limits. Now, no need to go assuming the worst. <laughs> All right. This move is strictly to facilitate better coordination with our boys in uniform, who are at this very moment putting together a surefire plan to retake our city and eradicate the... Huh? Let's get away. Nowhere. Just give me a minute. <clears throat> so... So just, uh, hold tight, secure your homes, and I assure you... Hello? The tide will turn. Yeah. God bless you. I'm not sure if anyone out there is still listening to this trash. But if you are, know this. Nobody is coming to help you. <laughs> There's no plan. They... <sighs> Look. What they did... It's wrong. It's all wrong. We are trapped. And staying here... Isn't an option. You have to get out. Escape the city any way you can. Get out now. So yeah, it sounds like the mayor has left us to our own devices. Choose your survivors, Sebastian and Diane. Diane spent her time outside of class waiting tables at the local bar, saving for a pair of high-end turn. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see, so, so different characters. Do we have, ah, I see, right, Daryl and Leo. Um, Hector and Kayla, and Daphne and Penny. Right, so they've. let's see what their, their strengths are. So Sebastian's a gunsmith, ranged weapons are cheaper to repair, deals more damage, morale is restored right slower. And Diane, untiring, loses rest slower, that's always good. Poor craftsperson, barricade repair is less effective. Okay, let's see um, Daryl, iron stomach, can eat anything without, okay, that's good to know. Whittler. Melee weapons are cheaper to craft. That's always good to know. Tough. Ah, I, I'm liking Daryl and Leo so far. Uh, Hector and Kayla, gearhead, gains an extra component resource for each dismantled item. That's good. Board fire barricades are cheaper to repair. Nice. Um, evasive, small chance of not taking damage in compact. Oh. Oh. What else you got? Escape artists, create more lock picks. Ah. Oh. And reduced. Oh, she's got reduced backpack space. So. Two of them are pros, and you've got a con for each. And then Daphne and Penny. First aid training, good cook, pacifist, attack damage. Oh, we don't like that. Blade expert, sneaky. Ah, you know what? I'm going to go with uh, Daryl and Leo. Yeah, why not? I like that, that you can pick your first two survivors straight out the gate. Uh, they have their pros and cons. Uh, this is apparently going to be a lot like um, this War of Mine. So during the daytime, like we've got here, this shelter won't do. The barricades are in bad shape and there's barely enough to here to survive. We need to move to a new shelter as soon as possible and then find a way to escape this hellhole. Find a new shelter and move in. Alrighty. That sounds like something we can do. Each day is split into two phases, daytime and night. Yeah, just like this War of Mine. During a phase, you can assign survivors to stations to craft, resolve their needs, or scavenge. Confirm actions. Okay. Map station. This is where you assign survivors to scavenge. Cool. Got it. We're Daryl. 
Um, so let's see what the buttons are. Okay, we push up to go up the stairs. We don't want to go there just yet. Ooh. Oh, they're trying to break down the door. Yeah, okay. We, uh, we don't like that. We don't like that. So we don't need to sleep. We're good for food. We're good for our sleepy times. And I'm thinking the third bit there. I need something to do. I'm tired of... So we can't really do much at the moment. Um, right. Yeah, let's... Well, how do we change... Oh, I see. We change... I think Leo is going to be our... What was his... Oh, I've already forgotten the... If we get you... This triangle... I am using the controller on this one. Um, okay. He can do that. Well, Leo will go on the hunt. We've only got one place to go. 38 Irving Drive. Low zombie density. That's always good. I've only got a lock pick. That's it. Let's go and scavenge. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I see. You have to hold down the R1 button. It's been a while since I used the controller. Right. 38 Irving Drive, Wednesday. Let's see what we've got. Head, oh, don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't think we want to be running. Definitely don't want to be running. Let's see what goodies we have from the van. Uh, transfer all of them. What does that do? Tape. All right, they're just the uh, elements here. Okay. I'm sure this will just be like a tutorial... Oh. No, it's not telling me. How do I go in the door? I see. Triangle seems to be the... Okay. Sneaky mode. And we've got our first Zambino. Looking at your family portrait picture. Thinking what you did to chew their brains off. Can we close the doors behind us? Because I would like to do that. Nice. Okay. I don't know if that is going to mean anything in the long run. In the scheme of things. We've got some raw meat. And some carrots and... We've got to go up to the roof. Ah, what do we have here? Vantage point. New locations discovered. Okay, so we use telescopes to see our next port of call. Ah, interesting. Scissors. We've got a weapon here. Clothes, bottled water, and some beer. Okay, so have I already... Yes, I have. Oh. With a weapon equipped, sneak behind and press... Oh. Yeah, you take that scissor to the neck. Ah, and we use our pick lock. Okay. All good. Uh, oh, hatchet, you say. Eh? Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. How do we equip? I see. Triangle. It just seems to be... That was it. All right. Not a bad day's work, if I do say so myself. So nighttime now. So these doors have been barricaded, or...? The undead attack. The undead hurled themselves against the barricades. You managed to hold them back this time. Huh. All right, so our man's a little bit sleepy. We'll put him to bed. But Leo did a good job, I think. There's have to be time to move on, so let's... Uh, Yeah, so Daryl's going to be the next to... Uh... Right, so we have the value records. Ah, so by going to this location, we'll get a workbench, barricade, and... Okay, I see, I see.
Yes, we want to bring... We'll bring the hatchet. Should we bring the scissors as well? Nah, the hatchet will be fine. Well, hang on. Where's... How do we... Do we have a... Gonna barricade ourselves up a little bit, you know? Yeah. So he needs some food. How do I eat? Let me get some grub in our in our tum tums. Well, you might as well sleep. You're hungry as well, eh? We'll check out this record shop. Leo's our guy. He's our guy in the in the know. He's gonna take out these Ambinos. Value records. Hey. Shelter, equipment, someone held up here, or I was hoping that you're not on the Bang! Straight in the skull. Someone's shuffling around upstairs. We'll deal with him in a minute. Right, so he seems to be going back and forth. I think we'll wait for you to come back, and then we'll head up. Do you know what dyslexic zombies eat? Brian's. Come on. Come on, you pretty little thing. Come back here. There we go. Just gonna... Just gonna wait for you to turn around, then we'll come upstairs and we'll bash your brains in. I mean, we'll bash them right the hell in. You're not gonna see me from here, right? Good. Oh. Come on. Come on, don't turn around. Don't turn around just yet. We got you. We got you. That's where we wanted it. So it looks like we're going to have to try and stealth our way through this. Um, let's just see if there's anyone through here. Doesn't appear to be. Ah. I have to hold it down? I had it there just a second ago. Ah, wooden box. I don't like that zombie on the floor there. Hmm. Can't go upstairs. Ooh. Ah, uh, broken pistol. So we're going to have to craft it. Okay. Can we move the desk? No, we can't move the desk. Ah, oh, what does that mean? No, we're just rechecking the things we've already checked. Okay. We can go down here. Hmm. Oh. 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 Oh, god damn it. And the death blow. All undead cleared, you're now able to move in. Well, that's nice. That's nice to know. But uh, that didn't help us with our, with our hatchet. That's kind of gone now. And I can only take... Oh, what? Oh, no. Uh, I think we're going to use tape. We're going to need, need food. Wooden box. We're going to need that to break up the thing here. Uh, water bottle. Sugar. Coffee beans. God damn it. Will that stay there? Potentially. Don't know. Oh. I don't really want to 
Because we're not going to be able to... Oh, we can stack these, right? Except the wooden pallets. Okay. Ah, there was a door here. Okay, we'll remove that. Thank you very much. Well, our bag is full. Took a little bit of damage there. But it wasn't too bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. Um, didn't expect that zombie to be staring right at us. Maybe I should have uh, searched the patterns there, but there you go. Um, right. So how do we move then? Is that meant to be something that we... We move the shell out. Right. Okay, yes. Move your survivors. Assigned to station will be unassigned. Any crafting process will be cancelled. Yes, let's move to the record shop. Seems like we have better fortifications there. We have a workbench. See what we can make, you know? Leo gained gnawing hunger. Oh dear. The workbench crafts essential items and can build new stations that expand your shelter's capabilities. Stations are the key to long-term survival and come with you when you move shelter. Okay then. Right, so we need to we need to get some food in us, right? Let's uh we got the yeah. Cooking area. We want that. Um Weren't there just like little things though that we could use? Let's get the cooking station. Can I add to this? Um, yeah, I think we're going to want a lock pick as well. Let's just see what else we've got. Weapons bench, that would be nice. Um, let's just get the... Right, we're going to need more material, so let's get that done as well. Well, wow, okay. See what else we can do. I think we need to. Oh, we need we need food. Oh no, can I? Oh, can I cancel something? We need to get some food in Leo, otherwise he's going to starve to death. Um, that probably wasn't the best course of action, but okay. Let's see how we go. It's night time now. Didn't go surviving. Yes, I know everyone is hungry. They attacked. Okay, where's our? Where's our food station then? Did he create it? If I was a food station, where would I be? Ah, here we go. Right. Let's let's get some food down us. Do these vegetable soup or meat stew do they moderate amount of hunger? They're both moderate, aren't they? Okay. Let's just make all the foods, yeah. Then we'll be nice and filled up. And while he's doing that, is there anything else I can create here? Another lockpick? Sure, why not? Let's do another lockpick and another one. And yeah. Right. That's fine. How do we eat? How do we actually eat anything? It hasn't really told me how to... I'm not going to starve to death here. Surely we should have like... Ah, oh, it's right there. It's the goddamn button. I think I'm more concerned about Leo. Yeah, he, he is dying here. All right, we're going to have to go and investigate. Leo's been our, our man so far. So, um, yeah, let's get him. Let's get him to the map room. He's quick on his feet. He knows the precise area where to bash the brains in. Right. Griffith and Sons Hardware, that would be good for bits and pieces. Uh, Harshaw Presbyterian, that's nice. And Medium, right, so they've gone from low to mediums now. So we're going to have to be... I think we'll go to the hardware store. Yeah, right. Our, um, let's bring a picklock. The hatchet is about to break, so I'm going to bring the scissors with us as well, I think. That is the right course of action. 
Um, okay. And what can you be doing? Uh, can you make some more food for us, Daryl? Can you do that for us, buddy? Do we have any more foods that we can use? I don't think so. But let's see. Yeah. No, we don't. We need um, some water or something. Is there anything else we can make? I think we've pretty much used up everything that we can. Let's get you to bed. Even though you don't really need it, might as well use it while we can. All right, Leo, let's go. Oh. I know there are zombies over there. I just don't want to run anywhere in this. Look for opportunities to climb. Ah, interesting, okay. Oh. Okay, we have a zombie right here. Can we take you? Can we? Okay. Um, are you going to see us if we go past? I don't really particularly want to do that. Oh, there's a lot of them. They don't seem to be... I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Come on, Leo. Silent feet, buddy. Got a lot. We're going to close that behind us. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Oh, what's this? Remain calm. There's a checklist pinned to a notice board on the floor. It says, before you leave, pack clothes. All right, so we've got a lead. And this guy, we can take out. So don't turn around. Don't turn around. Down you go. And I think we've probably got one more <laughs> hit of the hatchet before it completely breaks. That's what we needed. We needed the bottled water. Yes, we did. Okay. Um, oh. oh, there's a guy right there. Is that nice. Maybe we come in the hardware store from the other way. But let's just see if there is a... Yes, there is. We can use a pick lock that we have. Nicely done, Leo. Nicely done. Um, bandage. What do I need more of? Uh, there's the wooden planks, though. We can stack these, right? Yes, we can. Do we have tape already? No. Can we take that away and... I think electrical we'll use, right? Um, I mean, we, we could just get rid of the hatchet. I think that's... Yeah, we'll equip the scissors. And bring in the tape. And that's all we can really do for now. Um, can I lift this? Oh, there's a door blocking it. So I have to go back the whole way. I think we're good for this scavenge run. We can't really pick up anything else anyway. Get the hell out of here, Leo. Let's go. Yeah, we can come back here. There seems to be more stuff. So, I'm getting the concept of the game now. Like, you'll have to probably come back to certain locations and areas. Right? That's what we're saying. Um, ah, remain calm unlocked in the plans menu. Ah, okay. Um, I think Leo needs to get some food in him and get the, get the rest. What have we got? Um... Junk food. Short burst of anything. Yeah, okay, no. We'll give you some of that. That puts you in the green. And we'll get you to bed. Leo has been our savior so far. Right. Let's see what we can make here. Oh, actually, no. Let's get rid of that. Let's uh, see how our barricade's doing. Because the zombies are going to try and tear it down during the night, right? So we just want to make sure we're all prepared here. Yeah, we'll put that in. Ah, but then he's gonna... You know what? Let's get rid of you. The barricades are good. We, I think we're good for another couple of days. And then we can fix them, so... I think food is the uh, 
essence here at the moment. Yeah, and then we'll give you... Uh, you can eat some veggies. Yeah, okay. That's fine. They're only taking one of them out. Uh, right, how is everyone doing? So we'll eat one of these delicious meals that Daryl has provided for us. He's good. Um, and then you're going to have to eat as well, aren't you? Have that. Yep, that does us good. Um, with all the materials we made, can we... Let's see... Communal area enables two survivors to restore morale and recover from negative mental stress. That's quite good. Workbench level two. Hmm. I think we're going to try and go for that. So we need a lot more wood and a lot more electrical stuff. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to be aiming for. Um, we can create some lockpicks, I think. In the meantime, that will be Daryl's job for the day while Leo goes out and investigates. And I think, Leo, we are going to be heading to the church. The hardware store does still have some things in there, but um, yeah, let's head to the church. Frying pan, let's just see, the damage is the same. We're gonna need, I think we're gonna need, um, I think we're going to look for some weapons because all we have is a saucepan and some scissors at the moment and that's not going to really get us through the zombie apocalypse you know that is not going to help us whatsoever you're going to need some meteor firepower what why didn't ah oh, god damn it the ui is a little clunky i will be honest i thought we were going to go scavenging there so uh, we've just lost that now that's not great. Um, let's go to the goddamn church. Does it make a difference if it's during the night? Does that mean that things are going to be... The zombies are going to be more harder to to attack? Don't know. We'll find out. Probably should have gone during the day. Let us see what we can see. Oh, another clue. Ah, PSA flyer has been pinned to this notice board. It reads, bring only what you'll need. Leave valuable and non-essential items at home. When your household number is called, head toward your district's designated evacuation point. I'm hoping as well. Hoping. Ah, there's something blocking it. Okay. We can hear them. Can I jump out there? No, I cannot. Do you have a bag of goodies, though? What's in the bag of goodies? We're liking that. Right. Can we drop? We just go down to drop and we move the chair. We might need to have a quick getaway, so we'll open that door. Seems like survivors try. There's a guy just sitting there. Don't like that. If I make a noise now, these things are gonna these things are gonna charge me, right? Okay, I'm gonna try and um Oh, are you, you're just standing there, right? You're not, you're not going to turn around as soon as I open this door, are you? No, you're not. I'm going to shut you. And we're going to silently take you down. These scissors have been pretty good, I will be honest. They haven't been so bad so far. What have we got through here? Oh, I've got another guy there. Don't like it, I don't like it. I don't like that they're just in the background, just waiting. Don't seem to have anyone here, but there does seem to be a spot where we can... I'm gonna go upstairs. You stay there. You stay there. Trying to be quiet. What have we got over 
here? Have we got someone in here? We do. He's walking around. Okay. How long do you stay there? You don't stay there for very long. Oh, God damn it. I'll do that again. Our scissors are about to go, so we're going to be weaponless soon. Right, so we have no weapons now. That's not good. Uh, maybe, I'm hoping this duffel bag here will be a yes. Please be a weapon. Ah, it's not helping me. That is not helping me. Can we only go like halfway up the step? Yeah, we can. Okay, I want to sort of see. Ah, uh, lockpick, eh? We do have a lockpick. Right, let's try and lockpick this. <sighs> You're going to be okay, aren't you? You're not going to try and kill me if I come in. You're going to be fine. Please be a weapon. Please be a weapon. Uh, is this a good idea? Uh, right, okay. I really need a weapon. I really need a weapon. Help me out here. If I trigger a zombie, I'm just going to have to hot tail it out of here. Oh, 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 and run and jump to the gap. I see. Okay, I got you. There's got to be something here, right? There's got to be something here. Well, we've got some wood. We've got some electrical stuff. That's what we needed for the, um, the workbench, right? So we can create a new workbench. I'm hoping. I'm praying. Ah, uh, I have another telescope. So, in theory, we're going to be... Yes, new locations. That's what we like. And is this a quick... I think it's time to, to leave now. I think we've pretty much gathered all we can. Oh, we have a guy. Are demons still wandering the streets? Ah, a new survivor. Rahul. Let's see, a chemist. Distillery recipes give extra alcohol and fuel. That's always good. Feather fist. Blunt weapon damage reduced. That's not so good. And sensitive stomach. We're, we are happy to have you, my friend. Come on, Rahul. Thanks. I figured I would die up here. Does that mean you're following me now? No, we're not going to ring the bell. Okay, we're still playing... Uh oh Still playing as Leo, so I'm guessing you automatically come back into the fray, right? Um, okay, what can we... We've got a lot of medicine in that one. Can I? I wonder. Can I eat the junk food now? Yes, I can. That's great to know. Right. Great. That was a great run. We've got a lot of useful items and we've picked up a new survivor. So now we can do multiple things during the day. Great success. Great success. Okay. So as a chemist, I'm imagining that you'll be able to... You'll might be able to cook food better? Don't know. We're not going to be taking Rahul out on the streets. Leo has been our guy at the moment, but, um... Let's see what we can make. Can we make the second workbench? No. We need more wood. Okay. Uh, we're going to need another bed, I think. Um... Daryl can work on that. I think we're good for barricades for the moment. Rahul, you need some sleep. You've been hiding out in that church. And Leo, I'm afraid we're going to have to... Oh, we don't have any weapons. How do we... We don't have any weapon. Oh, we have the saucepan. 
The bloody saucepan. All right, you go to sleep, my friend. You need to catch the Zeds. Leo, I'm afraid we're going to use you again. We're going to need your expertise. We have some new areas now. Uh, we didn't check out 39. Yeah. Okay. Let's just see. We have a gas station as well. Hmm. That seems... Fire station. You can't see that yet. Let's check out the gas station. Okay, everyone's working on something. Rahul's sleeping, sleeping it off. He's all good. Yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. This is just a demo, and it's been quite an extensive demo so far. So I'm not sure where this is actually going to end. Um, let us be careful. Always careful. During the zombie apocalypse, you want to be light on your toes. Are we going to get some food here? No, but we need wood. We need a lot of wood is what we're needing. Let's create that second workbench. I think we're going to have to go up, aren't we? Yeah. I think if I just walked through there, there would probably be... It okay, looks clear. This is Joe. Oh, we've got another one. There seems to be someone above me. That's what I'm thinking. I don't like the open door. Leo, I'm getting a feeling we're going to have to hot tail it out of here. Oh, look, there's a guy there. There's a guy there. Yeah, I knew it. Don't trust the open doors. Don't trust the open doors. Oh, turn around. Turn around. There you go. And I'm going to take you down with a goddamn saucepan. That's how we roll here. Shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, this, this guy's taking a lot to take down with my goddamn saucepan. I need a new weapon. I really need a new weapon. That is about to go. I've got one more hit with this thing, and then it's, it's done for. I mean, I am getting a lot of stuff. That's great. But there's definitely there's definitely a guy up here, isn't there? Yeah. Let's see how far he comes. Oh. Now it's just my fists. Now we're just fighting a zombie with our goddamn fists. Which is never good. Never good. Come on, Leo. You've got this. You've got this. I have trust. I have faith. We can take him down. Come on. The old haymaker. That's it. That's it. Good, uh, good job, Leo. There might be another one up here. We might not be out of the danger zone yet. No, we're good. We're good. I need a weapon. Really need a weapon. There was no need to kill that zombie because uh, there was nothing up here. Great success. Great success. Don't like the open door. Close the door. Close the door. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I have nothing. I have nothing. 
Right, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta book it. Oh, what was that? Ah, a symbol has been hastily painted on the pavement near a manhole, partially covered by dust and grime. Oh no! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, we're gonna have to... I'm thinking we're gonna go the other way. We have a new survivor. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Good little scavenge, but uh, unfortunately, Leo. Uh, come on, you gotta run it. We gotta run. We gotta run away. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that zombie to be coming from the other side. I think we're doing okay so far. Drained. Okay. We're going to have to put... Hmm. Now they're taking two down two. Alright. We've got a lot of survivors. That's good. Alright, Leo's going to bed. He, he is not feeling too good. I think Joe's going to be our next guy. Let's get Daryl. What's Daryl doing? Oh, he's just uh, watching the zombies. Yeah, we need weapons, man. We need weapons and we need them fast. So where's the weapons bench then? Because we need to kind of create some... Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, We didn't really check out Joe's attributes because I was fearful that their zombies would be coming down on us. Um, strong extra backpack space. Yeah, you're definitely going out. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. And what are the plans then? Oh, I see. So we have to get more of the... Um, we have to go to different sites and get the different markings to enable us to get out of dodge, right? Okay. Okay.
Right, we're going to have our weapons. And Joe's going to go out. He's super strong. Uh, we're going to need to get some food. Right, Joe, you're our man. Old Ballard, one of the few remaining artifacts of Harshaw's most prosperous past. Yeah, we need him food. We're going to have to go for a food run. And you're going to bring those two things with you. So you can go scavenge. Meanwhile, you're a bit... Well, we don't have any wood anymore, so... Um, yeah, I think this last trip is going to be the last one. I'm going to call it a day there. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Very this war of mine. Very much in the same scheme of things. During the day, I think I've got too many survivors now. The old Ballard. But we've, we've got a meaty weapon now. So that's good. Can we go up here? Nice. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> Oh, come on, put some weight into it. That wasn't a great start. Not a great start. We do have some dog food. Is there anyone else here? We did see some someone shambling upstairs. Nice, we needed some planks of wood. Are there two people up there? Or just the one? Come on, Joe. Get up the stairs, Joe. Right, we're going to wait for you to complete your circle. We've got one more hit of the sledgehammer now before it goes completely. Oh, interesting. I don't really see what's up here, though. Oh, here he fell down. Clothes. Hmm. Not all I was expecting. Can get out the window, so we do have an escape route. You stay there. You stay silent. Nice pipe wrench. Ooh, going up into the attic, eh? Our trusty lockpick working as intended. to go up into the attic, aren't we? Hmm. 
We saw someone up here. We did see someone up here. Don't know where you are. Oh, flying over the thing. Come on, Joe, you're broad-shouldered. Yeah, that wasn't the best. did have the oh shit it's time to go it's time to leave was not expecting the um, environmental damage there perhaps Joe was a bit more of a chunky monkey oh oh no, take all the things. Go, go, go. Get out of here. I know there was another mark in there. We will return another time. <laughs> yeah, that was Trixie. That was Trixie of the game to do that to me. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I think we're going to call it a day there. Yeah, so that was Into the Dead, Our Darkest Days. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, I like the fact that during the day you can go out scavenging, picking things up. And it is the kind of resource management that is very much similar in vein of this war of mine. Um, I think I picked up too many survivors, where scavenging for food is going to be the kind of port of call. Um, I didn't realize, I should have realized that the weapons cabinet, I just saw the pistol there, so I thought it was going to be like guns, not melee weapons. A lot of this is to do with the fact that you have to kind of sneak up on the zombies because because the weapons degrade quite fast in this. Yeah, the resource management is, is key here. Obviously, um, the more survivors you have, the more bellies you need to fill. So, you know, do you go to a place that has potentially more food or do you try and find the way out of the town? Um, that was quite a long demo. I could have played for a lot longer, but... Um, you can go to different locations. I like the environmental damage. I wasn't expecting that when I was going on the <laughs> when I was up in the attic and it just crashed through the entire house, alerting all the zombies nearby. So there is going to be a fight or flight moment there. Um, there are going to be fight or flight moments, and I enjoy that. I like the kind of tension that this brings as well. Some of the zombie AI, you can see them. They're just kind of walking up and down a hallway. You can easily dispatch them when you come up to do the sneak attack. But the weapon degrades so fast in this. Um, you know, you don't want to get caught in a fight with a zombie because you'll be using up all those points just smashing the zombies' heads in. Um, I enjoyed this. Um, this is going to be out soon, apparently, and I will be playing it. So yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already and you've made it this far, then please sub. It means the world to me. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.